Now that we've set up our hot wallet, it's time to fund it with some cryptocurrency. Now, how do you go about finding this cryptocurrency that you will find fund your wallet with? Well, I have a few options for you here. The first and most popular is to go through a centralized exchange. Uh, those are things such as Coinbase, Binance, Kraken. They all allow you to set up an account go through KYC, know your customer, deposit some fiat currency, euro, dollar, a pound, and purchase any or one of a large selection of cryptocurrencies. This is the most common way to get started. But again, if you're not a huge fan of uh, going through a centralized service, you might want to consider another option. The second way to go about it is through a peer-to-peer -peer market. So there are platforms like Paxful, and there used to be another platform called uh, Local Bitcoins that allowed you to buy cryptocurrencies directly from other individuals. Those individuals might uh, accept cash, they might accept a bank transfer, or you can set up some other uh, arrangement. Another way of a acquiring crypto in a peer-to-peer -peer manner is just finding seller in a local meetup or gathering that is willing to accept some cash in exchange for Bitcoin or Ether or some other cryptocurrency, although that might not be. Uh, pay, uh, people tend to be a little bit suspicious when uh, you want to purchase uh, crypto with cash, but if it's for very small amounts, you might be able to, you know, convince someone to do this. You can also earn your crypto. Uh, there are platforms and projects, uh, cryptocurrency projects and non-cryptocurrency projects that uh, can offer you paid opportunities in uh, cryptocurrency, uh, or their services that you can use to. Um, convert your salary to crypto automatically every month. Uh, you can also ask a friend if they are generous enough, you can ask them for a small amount of crypto that can get you started, cover the fees for uh, a few basic transactions and setup. And if you are very technically inclined and willing to, you know, go the extra mile, you can get your crypto the OG way by mining or I guess you need some crypto to, in the first place, to end crypto through staking. But theoretically speaking, you can mine uh, for your cryptocurrency, but I don't think anyone will be starting uh, from that point. So those are some, some ways that you can acquire some cryptocurrency. Uh, we will be going for our purposes because it is the most popular and straightforward. Uh, we will be going the exchange route, which is what I will show you next. I am now on the exchange of my choice. Uh, in our example, it is Coinbase. I have bought some crypto using my credit card by clicking on the buy and sell button on the top right. And I will now show you how I can transfer it to my own cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, first, I click on the uh, send and receive uh, button. Um, I would like to uh, transfer Ether to my wallet. So I will have to look for it here. I click on uh, Ether and I would like to transfer uh, 200 USD worth of Ether to my wallet. Um, so uh, I will have to select a network. In theory, I could send this Ether over a layer two network, which is a scaling solution uh, that relies on Ethereum for security. Um, and inherits the properties of Ethereum uh, through some other blockchain, but those are advanced options and I will not be covering them uh, today. I will select the default uh, Ethereum uh, network. Now it is very important I uh, select the correct network, otherwise I run the risk of losing the funds I send and I will now need to input my address. I can find this by clicking on, the, on my wallet uh, clicking on receive, selecting the network again, in my case Ethereum, and copying the address. I can then paste the address. Coinbase will verify its validity. I will click on it. 
I can uh, preview the transaction here, 200 United States dollar. It will arrive in less than 10 minutes. It will take a fee, which says um, we're bribing uh, block constructors to include our transaction in uh, a subsequent block. And I hit on send now. Okay, I will need to authenticate this transaction through my Authenticator app, but after I do this, uh, the transaction should reach my wallet uh, very fast. Not my wallet, the uh, my uh, because coins are not stored on wallets, but you get the point. I should be able to see the transaction uh, in my wallet fast. Now the funds have reached uh, my address. I can see this here right and let's do something fun with it let's buy some other cryptocurrency so i've navigated to uniswap i can click to connect my wallet here I select rabi double check that i'm on the correct website uh, site popularity so on so forth on the correct blockchain hit connect and then i will spend um <clears throat> Oops, wish I had that many. Um, I will spend, let's see how much we can spend. Um, zero 05, I'll spend about a uh, 100 bucks buying some uh, liquid, uh, Lido liquid state, staked ETH. Uh, it will cost a pretty penny, as you can see, uh, but Again, this is what we can address with layer two scaling. I will click on swap and then confirm swap. Uh, a pop up will come up. It will ask me to sign. This is where Abby is uh, very good, in my opinion. It gives you a very incremental overview of what's happening exactly. And you can even set a, a custom uh, gas fee. OK. Uh, you can even view the, the road transaction data if you'd like, but I will click on sign and create and then confirm the transaction. And that is pretty much it. In a few seconds or a few minutes, if the network is up, my swap was a success and I can view it on the uh, blockchain explorer, um, etherscan in this case, uh, there is already a confirmation and I can of course verify it on my uh, Rabi wallet. I will need to add the coin first, but uh, I, I, sh I will be able to verify it uh, in my uh, Rabi wallets. SD ETH. Let's see if we can do this now. Okay. Yeah. You can see here that I have received uh, the correct amount.